is the Glass Cannon Network. You're having fun with your friends and you're rolling dice. You're playing make believe and it's really nice. Side quest, side sesh. That's the name of this show. <laughs> Good evening and welcome back to Side Quest, Side Sesh, the best part of Thursday night. Um, do you guys, uh, are you guys still on Facebook? Still? Yeah, like a lot of people. I never really was on Facebook. All right. Uh, We're friends on that. I can see it coming down the line. I haven't. (laughs) It's just this is a joke. I for a long time I was I was actually just using Facebook to put out ads um that would take people to sites that told the truth about some of the things our government was doing. Uh just in regards to voting machines and uh, I heard it was especially effective. For that purpose, for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know why they abandoned that program because it, it was really working. <laughs> I had to tell them about how Hillary Clinton was basically betraying the Constitution. <laughs> so. Those poor children. Yeah, uh, I don't drinking, know what happened to all of them, but she's been drinking the adrenochrome of toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> So no, nobody's still on Facebook. <laughs> I, I check Facebook. I check Facebook maybe like once a day. I'll go on and check. I check Facebook maybe once a month. If Twitter is a garbage dump, Facebook is a septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's accurate. Uh, it's really, really gone downhill. Um, and the hill was never big to begin with. I, I still use it um, uh, because I belong to some sports card groups on there and they do breaks and whatnot. But I also uh follow the page of the town that i live in like the, fa- the, oh, the yes. why would you do that to yourself yes. because yes. i Municipal. love a good comment section you know how many sound of freedom comment sections i just sit back oh. and read eat popcorn <laughs> oh, no. but i mean the uh do you ever comment or get involved in your community at all i do i okay. like i my uh my dishwasher went out and i had some floor damage and i was like i looked on google like google reviews and i was like yeah, i'll just put something in yorktown families sure enough some guy was like hey i can uh come by and i looked i'm like oh great so i've i've used it a few times but I love seeing people get angry at each other over uh, everything. Um, there's, I guess there's a trash problem in our town. We've never experienced it, but there's some people whose trash just isn't getting picked up. And so people are like, what is going on with the trash? And the guy with the trash and the moderator always has to come and he's like, guys, we need to stop talking about the trash. We've started a separate group where we can talk about the trash. <laughs> and uh, just like the little petty squabbles of a, uh, of a small town. Of course you would love a petty squabble. Oh, I love a petty squabble. Yorktown, I'm not involved. <laughs> Yorktown Families is also the page that the Gilgo Beach serial killer used to find his victims, right? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh. It just sounds ominous, Yorktown Families. I don't like the sound of it. Yorktown Families. Yeah, I was reading the I was reading the, the article about how the how like everyone around apparently who lived with that guy was like, yeah, I'm not surprised he's a serial killer. Like he would just like, I would like walk by while he was raking leaves and wave hello and he would scowl at me. And I was like, kind of sounds like Troy LaValle. <laughs> Wait, is this, uh, is this the guy that they just found the, the serial killer that was like an accountant? The architect. Was an architect. architect. That's what he was. Yeah. Yeah. My wife keeps telling me about it. She's like, look at this guy. It just looks like any old guy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's, he was good. He was good at what he did, um, but thankfully he's not. Apparently, in New York he Town would family. tell you so too. He was quite apparently he was quite boastful of his ability to navigate the New York City building code. Yeah, I watched That's a documentary about, right? that yeah. he did in like 2018 or something with a French film crew, and it's like an hour long documentary that they shot, just asking him questions about like that, like the building stuff. And the videographer is like commenting. He's just like, I can't believe I talked to a serial killer for that long. (laughs) Crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So nobody else, you guys don't belong to your your local uh, town. My wife, wife, she belongs to the local town mom's like uh, site uh, Mm -hmm. through Facebook and is on it constantly. And it is a mix of like shit talking and... Uh, actual useful trading of information and goods. 
yeah. and goods. Yeah, it's like a lot uh, of shit talking. You don't breastfeed them till they're fourteen. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife is always like, "Why isn't there a page like that for dads?" And I'm like, "There is. It's the Marvel Cinematic Universe <laughs> fan club." <laughs> 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 my my parents are not on Facebook, but my sister still is, and she has joined the Facebook group of our hometown, where my sister has not resided for about a decade, and so she will read the comments. She will, like you, Troy, spectate the comments oh, from our great. hometown, and then report back to my parents about the shit talking that's going on. And my mom will always be like, "Really? Like really? They seem so nice." <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get a kick out of it it's just uh you know sometimes you just need a little uh little entertainment and uh also to feel better about your own state of mind just to see other people fall apart over nonsense um but you guys can't join your town families because it is a closed group okay right, next week you can get us an invi <laughs> in invitation though right uh, you know, I'll see what I can do. I don't think it'd be super helpful to you. Troy, um, if you get me an inv invitation, I will 100% join and engage with Yorktown families. <laughs> I am going to get you an invitation to the separate I'll trash I'll write things group. like, does anybody have access to a large crawl space? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't ever read it, it there's, it's very similar to that thing about the shovel that you guys like, the Craigslist with the shovel. Oh, but, God. But so you should good. check for year, like like years, the comic book writer and artist Chip Zdarsky uh, engaged with every single Facebook post his hometown Applebee's made. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, the whole story is, is really something. Like he did the first one on a lark and then just decided to keep going. And it was it, it, it ends with them like inviting him for a free meal with the mayor. <laughs> it's, uh -huh. the mayor. <laughs> it's really special. Oh man, that's good. Clean mayor's fun. my favorite. That's my favorite political official. A mayor. I, I get so excited when a, a mayor shows up. Do you Any remember? Mayor? Do you guys remember the name of the mayor of your hometown growing up? Yes, I, I don't. think mine was like Jim Ryan. Mayor Jim Ryan. That sounds right. I can remember like signs. Jim Ryan. We didn't. I don't think we had a mayor. I think we had. We had your like, lawless town. <laughs> no, I mean, in Pennsylvania, you have like townships a, a, and townships upon townships. And there's like, you had like a, like a, yeah. Town selectman? It's Mayor McCheese. Yeah, basically like a township councilman or something like that that sat on the board of the county board or whatever. Yeah, you have an was, alderman? You have any alderman? Yeah, or like a comptroller? <laughs> what the hell's a comptroller? You can have something all like that? the things you just said and a mayor. And They're a not mayor. exclusive. Okay. Yeah. You guys, my town was so tiny. And then the town, I don't know. It's very confusing. And you guys know I was raised in a self-sustaining commune. So we had fa <laughs> Father Eli. <laughs> no one Eli... knows anything about you as a person because all you do is lie. I don't know lie. the mayor. I don't know, the I don't know, what, I don't know who the mayor of Morgantown, West Virginia is. I don't know. <laughs> It's not a lie. No, it's it a was. joke. You sound like my mom when she would hear me do stand up. She'd go, "It's funny, but you lie. It's lies. <laughs> yeah, why lie? You can be funny without lying." Yeah, <laughs> not a lie, <laughs> Eli. I, that's so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, he, he didn't like me as much because I was one of the boys. Um, <laughs> oh my God, right. He never really spent a lot of time with us guys. Um, <laughs> See, well, I thought the reveal was that he was they like he you like all the other children in the town were his son. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, uh, I do have a, bear a close resemblance to him. Father Eli. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you're going to have to pray to Father Eli this evening because little oh, did we know. Yeah. I guess when we went off the air, it just didn't quite, it didn't hit me until we started talking. I think you guys had left. Joe and I kept talking over after the call. We're like, oh, shit, Rufus is, Rufus is on the edge of death here because that was a crit and you only had how many hit points left? I didn't have very many hit points left. Ten. 10 yeah, yeah uh, that is a heightened produce flame uh spell that has a, the ability to be able to send through the wall perhaps and come out on other side and uh that's gonna that could take you straight to dying too um should i, I roll the damn it did all right so i, I yeah. should I, did we roll the damage i don't think i rolled the damage right i don't think it matters <laughs> yeah i think we should roll the damage and then joe you sent out some flow charts that you made in your free time. 
<laughs> this <laughs> afternoon. Is that yes. true? Some extensive uh, flow charts for when you combine dying with persistent damage, which gets real ugly, real fast. Joe, is this is this PowerPoint presentation the one that tells me what's going to happen now, right here? This PowerPoint yes. that you made. Yes. Okay. It's the PowerPoint I made where I yeah where I. Exp- I like the star wipe on the first slide. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Then right. a DC twelve flat check. <laughs> All right. I was so pretty proud of my response to that email, Joe. Would you like to share? I told the I told I told yeah. So I sent it to call. Matthew. Matthew, who obviously over. Over the years has gotten uh, a little uh, chip on his shoulder because he has spent a little too much time with old Joe O'Brien uh, <laughs> telling everybody how to play their characters. And I try to be like, Matthew, Matthew I, I promise I'm not trying to play your character. I just want to explain the situation. <laughs> And so I, I wrote it all to Jared that I sent it to Matthew and I, and I didn't send it to you, Skid, just because Matthew's the one that can actually help uh, Jared's character. So I said, I just want you to get a picture of what's happening here. But, but you do you. And Matthew's immediate response just pops right back. Don't tell me what to do (laughs) to my like wall of text. But then you scroll down his email and there's about 15 blank lines. And then a parentheses that just says, and thank you. (laughs) So, yeah, I I really don't know how it's going to go because I what I laid out for Jared is just to kind of understand the flow of how this goes mechanically in 2E. But once you're past that first round even that first roll, everything is wildly unpredictable because everything is dependent on the previous rolls before it. So if you fail a couple rolls in a row, you're going to be in really bad shape. If you succeed at those rolls, you'll immediately be fine. So it's it, there's a real variance here as it's to how per, it could go. W- did you say already, or were you just saying to me that like persistent damage is known as the is one of the main character killers in 2E? I'm just saying what I have found so yeah. far, and it's also discussed by Order of the Amber Die, uh, who I respect their understanding of the rules and the amount they've played so far. And they're like, this is the way so far that we've seen is the most deadly thing to happen to a character is persistent damage when you're already dying uh, is is really ugly because even your hero point, like all it does is buy you a little time. It is yeah. not a cure all. And I have uh, a hero point. I have a hero point. Yes. Which helps yes. greatly. Yeah. Yes. So we uh, need they, to see if are- I have to use it. The hero points are ones that you guys have carried over. We're not replenishing them yet where you're still mid-battle. So I'm just trusting that you guys have marked what you used and haven't used. I made two notes uh, that uh, Joe then emailed to you guys afterwards was, did Balthazar use battle medicine on Rufus in the past 24 hours? And the answer was no, right? I just treated wo- treated wounds on him before. And, we, and this is something we determined last episode is that they are separate. So battle medicine acts as treat wounds, but it does not. It is not tree wounds. Okay. And then the second one was, did Rufus use his bottle cap? Because that's obviously huge. Well, let's see what happens. You take 22 points of damage. So you go immediately to dying two on that spell. Create! Um, And you will take 3d4 persistent fire damage on your John. Now, what we'll do is we will uh, move you in the encounter order here to right before Lelgeshen. Lil um, Jeshin. Lil Jeshin. <laughs> Lil Jeshin. Uh, is that Lil Jeshin? Um, Lil and then I'm going to just, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I, I updated uh, Champ's initiative to 2,123. I'll take it. <laughs> just to ensure that Rufus would be right I'm before. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you, I like Foundry. Wait, and stop, <laughs> and stop me if this is something, is a, an eventuality that you were going to uh, expound upon. Jared, but one thing your flowchart does not take into account, Joe, is Belthrexenbob. Can Belthrexenbob ah, act of his he, own accord? No, he's, summoner? he disappears the second that I go to zero HP because we share hit points. Watch him fade ah. slowly on Foundry. Oh. So wait a minute. I love that he was inside of you. I love that he rips forth Clip from your that, chest tattoo. Weird, well, weird. <laughs> It's a weird way to say it, but uh, <laughs> pause for edit. Just, just clip that one line, please. <laughs> That's gonna be my ringtone. I love that he's inside of you. <laughs> it's gonna be like the hide your kids, hide your wife thing. We'll remix it. I love, 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 love that he's inside of you. Inside of you. Inside of you. No, uh, he, he he is inside so of me. So what happens it's, when it's he very, vanishes? It's, Does it's he very just? P- when he vanishes? Yeah, does he just uh, disappear? Does he go back in? Does he, like, slam into you? Like, what happens? Um, he, he, he slams goes, into him, and then he's inside of him. He's inside <laughs> he's, of me, and it's very painful. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> We've uh, no, I mean, uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, I think that. Uh, no, I think that he just goes up in a in a in a ex- small poof of flame. <laughs> Uh, because it's like my consciousness is winked out and so is he. My astral connection is severed. Um, okay, I like goes. that. Yeah. yeah. Red red smoke. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, he is gone, but it is still uh, still an active combat here. Although Rufus of Opara may have fallen, it is now Karazor's turn. Uh, all right, Karazor oh, 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 oh. has... We're cut out for him here. Uh, <laughs> and you're uh, you're pretty low on HP as well, right? Yeah, I've got very very few. I have well, I did actually. I'm I'm not close to death because I did take the Juggernaut mutagen, so that gives me ten temporary HP. Mm-hmm. I have eighteen of my own, so I I could survive theoretically. So, Kaurazor, in a desperate bid to uh, save the lives of his annoying companions, <laughs> strides up to uh, Lel Shezen. Lel Shezen. And with his signature moves, whoop, brings his gigantic greatsword over his head, brings it down on the creature. Oh, hell yeah. That is a uh, 30. 30 to hit. Okay. Okay. 30 to hit is a hit. Yes! Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Do a lot of damage. Uh, uh, that is 27 points of damage. Wow. Okay. Phenomenal. <sighs> okay, so he takes a wallop, and you still have one more attack. I don't. That was my. That was a power attack. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the actions. 27 I spoke. points. Man, power attack. Slaps when you hit with it. Um, very cool. So it uses two actions, but the damage is brutal. Okay, so Karazor leaves himself open to perhaps an attack from Lel Jeshin, uh, but does a devastating blow. Be interesting to see what Balthazar does here. Balthazar, uh, you've taken the Hippocratic Oath, and you see Rufus of Opara fall. What do you do? I've, I've taken no such oath. Yeah. <laughs> It was called something the different. Oath. All right, I, did, the I oath. did take the, the oath of the barbers, but that has, that's more of a, cos, you know, a cosmetic, cosmetology school thing. It's it's complicated. You wouldn't My know about. God, you've you taken the barber's oath. <laughs> uh, Balthazar is going to take the long way around with his incredible movement uh, to get to flank little Jeshu with oh, Karazor, and I will take. Do I want a flurry of blows here? Yeah, why not? I'm nervous. Yeah. Let me get another D20 and we'll do some flurry of blows. Yeah, flurry it up. Flurry of bo- blows while I'm in gorilla, stan- uh, gorilla stance. So these are gorilla slams. Okay. Gorilla style flurry. Okay. Uh, all right. First attack is going to be a uh, 27 to hit. And the, second, and the second fist will be a 17. Uh, the 17 is a miss. The 27 hits. Okay. Uh, that's great. Let me get some dice. So I was unprepared. Uh, okay, that's not going to be a lot of damage, though. Uh, it's going to be nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. And Lil Jeshin is still ticking. Oh, no. All right, I have a third action. Oh, no. Ooh. All right, so Flurry of Blows is one action. Yeah, two Flurry attacks. Blows. One action, two attacks. Map as normal. Um, We're all friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Do I want to? Yeah, okay, here's what, uh, all right. Uh, this is almost assuredly gonna fail, but as in the interest of using the third action, I'm going to attempt to grab Lil Jeshin. What? I'm gonna use this to be an athletics check against your fortitude DC. Against my fortitude DC, all right. All but I do right. take, I take the, the multiple attack penalty because grabbing does have the attack, attack trait. trait. Okay, grab, um, attempt to grab away. So this is good. I have a cumulative plus three on this roll. So you it's can almost do it. You're gonna going roll to a twenty, though. You're gonna roll a you twenty. Can, you're gonna roll a nat twenty. I'm it's gonna roll gonna a natural be twenty. Get it. I rolled a natural eleven, and I don't think a fourteen is gonna cut it. Does not. So you go to grab, and you look uh, and foolish, uh, <laughs> and you're and embarrassed, and you're embarrassed. Everybody sees it too. You should have taught me how to dance. <laughs> 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 We go to the top of the round four, and it is Champ's turn with a 2,123 initiative. 
Uh, crushing that Anish bone, uh, Champ is going to push the fight as well. So he will move directly up to Lel Jeshin and try to box him in a little bit as much as possible. And he will take a swing with his short sword uh, at Lel Jeshin. Natural one. Natural oh, one. Oh, I am going to use no. a hero point on that. Okay. Wow. Your third yeah. that you've used in the past two episodes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, I am <laughs> going sure to use a hero point. Those. And to you swing that again. Come on, buddy. Uh, that's still not a hit uh, with a 19. And then, oh, man, yeah. So he comes up, swings, misses, and then he's going to raise his shield. Little raise shield. Okay. All right. Now we get into the nitty gritty. It is Rufus of Opara's turn. Jody, you want okay. to walk, walk us through your <laughs> PowerPoint? Yeah, Let's just well, I, I, I think Jared's I can, got this. <laughs> well, let's see. So I, I do have toughness. So I should mention to oh. any viewers that oh. a, after our first character creation session, I had to tweak a couple things. <laughs> after last week's episode, I tweaked I had a couple, to tweak no, a couple no, things. No, this was way, way back right after the character creation <laughs> episode. So if I didn't mention toughness before, I do have it. So that means right now I have to make a DC 11, right? Because I'm dying too. A DC, DC 12. 11. Flat DC suit, 11 because I'm it's DC toughness. 11 because of my toughness oh so that's what toughness does it lowers it or you go it, yes. I thought oh I'm thinking of die hard takes you to t- t- yes oh interesting okay okay so uh, let's go ahead and roll that flat check DC 11 and I rolled a 13 so okay I improve one step to dying one is that correct that is correct yes okay. nice. and that's a big start it buys you time then you take 11 points of fire damage. And then I take 11 points of fire damage, which is, that's not good. It's um, not great. It's not great. It's not great. That would take yeah, you right back to dying two. It brings me back to dying two. Uh, and now I make my flat check to remove that fire damage. And yes. that's right. That flat check and is this at is DC. And this is it right here. If DC you pass 15. this, if this pass, you pass this, you survive. It's a DC 15, right? DC yep. 15, huge. Yep. Come on, dice. They don't Daddy want you to do needs, that at the casinos. Daddy needs to not be clam baked. Here we go. And that is a one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything happens with a one. Yeah, no, I, I just I just continue to take the, the damage. You so continue I'm a dying to be on two. fire. You are <laughs> dying too, and your turn is over. Bummer. That was Shockingly, fun. your limp, that lifeless was... body was unable to stop, drop, and roll the flames away. <laughs> Guys, that turn was way more fun than I thought it would be. Really was. It's exciting. Yeah. yeah. A lot of action. I thought, you, I thought you were coming back, and then you bam, burn right, right down I'll, again. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, it is Lel Jeshin's turn. Lel Jeshin is really hemmed in there. Uh, he's getting uh, beaten uh, by all three of you. It's kind of like uh, the end of The Boys season three, or is that two? Season two, right? Just, oh, God, God, just getting beaten. I haven't right. seen it. No spoilers, please. It's too late. They all beat up on Lel Jeshin in the season finale. Uh, <laughs> so if I would... If I were to take, I could step, step, and that would avoid uh, the attacks of opportunity, but then I'd only have one action left, which isn't enough to do spells. Uh, I could just do one last big old flurry and hope that you guys mess up. Uh, I could also try the feint to make one of you flat-footed. So I think I'll start with that, since the third attack is going to be very low chance to hit. Um... Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to do a feint against uh, against Balthazar. That's um, against perception DC. This is yeah, a deception check against Balthazar's uh, perception DC. So let's rock, let's Man. rock and roll here. I'll Shockingly. tell you, I'll tell you what, Champ's perception DC is bad. That is, that's a scary thing. My perception has gone down because of the juggernaut mutagen I just swallowed. Yeah, mine as well. So yeah, so you're just dumber while you're fighting him, yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, I rolled a 28 total. Uh, that is a critical success. 
critical success. I don't believe that uh, normally that would be a critical success for a regular feint is you throw your enemy's defenses off. They're flat-footed until the end of your next turn, but Lelgeshen has a power that if you succeed, it's a critical success anyways. Uh, so you are flat-footed against these next two attacks with, remember, a very sweet kukri. Uh, first attack. Correct. Uh, uh, natural 20. What? This is Natural horseshit. Twins. This is unbelievable. <laughs> on goddamn. Believable. Neon green is neon back. I'm gonna sit him right there. You stay. Shh. It's okay. You stay right there. I want them to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. How have we never done that before? <laughs> What's right. that? <laughs> Wait, did you, you just critical? roll that with neon green? I sure did. What's uh, that? Did you say it's a fan critical? Sure, I'll take one. You'll take the fan crit zoni. Yeah, named character? Are you it's sure? Jeshin. Well, the thing, uh, okay. All right, fine. You don't like it? Uh, well, I've just got a reaction that I can use, and I wonder if you want me to wait till after this or before this. What do you think's fair? Well, it's up to you. If you want to use that reaction, you use that reaction, we move on with our day. I'm sending you a flow chart on how this should go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, I am going to use my reaction, so we'll use that. But first, let's read the crit. Uh, all right, this one from... Jason in Kansas City, Missouri. Ooh, Thank oh, Thank you, Jason. So perfect, it's inspiring. Your strike against the foe was a perfect display of your skill. You and your allies are yep. inspired by your prowess <laughs> and receive a plus one morale bonus on attack rolls for 1d4 rounds. Your foes have doubt sown amongst them and worry if their skill may not be enough. All enemies suffer minus one on attack rolls for 1d4 rounds. Oh, wow. no. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. That's terrible. Okay. All right. So, so uh, go that, roll that 1d4. Yeah, two rounds. Two rounds. Uh, um, all right. So we have a minus one on our attacks. We got to remember that. Minus one morale bonus. And I get a plus one. At first, I was like, oh, it's just going to be a bonus to the allies. But that was, it kept getting better the more you read. Now, let me ask you this. Your reaction, what do you want to do? Because that could, is that going to interrupt my damage? It is. Uh, so I am going to... Um, it, it will not interrupt your damage. So go ahead and roll your damage. Thank you for allowing me to roll the damage. Uh, <laughs> 79, 18 points of slashing damage. So before you take that, Matthew, I'm going to do Liberating Step. And I will give you five resistance against that damage. So you can lower it by five. Then you have to Great. take the rest. And you can take a free step right now. Um, okay. Oh my God. If you would like. What if I don't want to? Do I still get to? You may the take damage? it. Okay, great. I'm not going to take it because Karazor is up next, and Karazor could benefit from the flanking. Yes, but okay. But now you will take another attack from this guy. Just FYI. I wasn't going to step away anyway. I was going to step into flanking with you, but because gotcha. I'm not, I want to stay so in the brave. fight. You're so okay. brave, so bold, so brave, so strong. So 13 points of damage. I am now through all of my uh, Juggernaut Mutagen. So this is just my my real, genuine HP we're into now. Don't forget, Lel Jeshin gave you this Mutagen before you came in here. Oh yeah, what? I didn't it's, even think about that. Oh, he's, oh, yeah. awfully, he's awfully cocky. Uh, maybe he didn't even know. I didn't even think about this that. Fault. It's poison, it's poison! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna it take did, one more attack with the map. lower with my plus perception one. to his feint, so maybe that was part of his master plan. I wonder if yeah. the vault made him turn against us. I oh, wonder, yeah, I wonder, I wonder, next attack, okay, that is going to be a total of a 22. Yes, of course. I'm flat-footed <laughs> on top of everything else. Uh, yeah, with the flat-footed, and that's going to be another nine points of slashing damage. Um, I feel like this property on this kukri has a, uh, I did the mistake of not writing Pathfinder and just got a, w a lot of weird information. Uh, <laughs> Do you want me to look it up for you? If it has a I critical was trying to not look it up. benefit. Whenever you deal a critical hit with that, you deal one point of bleed damage. So you also take one point of bleed damage. Oh, That's what damn. I was. But that would be on your turn. That'd be on your turn. That will tick then. And it is Karazor's turn. Karazor, big turn. Okay, Karazor realizes the desperation of what's going on. Power attack on again. His opponent is flat footed. He does have minus one. Wow. Uh, I rolled a natural 18 again. 
Uh, wow. That is a 29. That is a 29 to hit. Nice. 29 to hit. <laughs> oh, you know what? Sorry. Because you were flat-footed to both of those attacks, you also take sneak attack damage on both of those attacks. Right. That's what I thought I remembered. Um, uh-huh. So let me uh, roll that quick so that you will take another total of... 12 points of damage. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, Balthazar is now down to five hit points. God damn it! And bleeding. He's the healer! <laughs> and exactly! Bleeding. He's the one who's supposed to help you! I told him to step away. He wouldn't this listen. This is huge! All right, skid, We're all sorry gonna to die! Your flow here. Uh, a 29 total. That is a hit. Awesome. Uh... Okay, uh, that is 29 points of damage. If you would direct your attention to the map, you will see a skull and crossbow. Yeah! 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 is dead Lel forever. is dead. We're going to stay in initiative order here because there's still some bad stuff that could happen. Karzor, you still have uh, one more action. Uh, <laughs> all right, so Karzor is going to run back uh, to... Uh, Balthazar or um, Rufus. Rufus. It's just like, Rufus, no! And as he's running, he's like sort of uh, pulling his wiener out of his pants. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, I don't know why. Oh, uh, why? Uh, it's uh, unclear if you're watching why he's doing that, but that's what he's doing. What is. Oh um, <laughs> what is. Um, <laughs> well, it's Balthazar's let, turn. Let me die. Let me <laughs> die. I'd rather <laughs> die. No, I'm so with all haste. I'm all <laughs> How do I remove the bleeding condition from myself? Uh, you can do first aid. Just a medicine check. How long? How long does that take? Uh, I believe it's just an action. But it's battle medicine. But I mean, it, it also it, it also is like you need to have the reasonable stuff on hand. Like you need to have bandages, for example, like on hand. Joe, I'm a barber. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the man's a barber. You I, would be, with I would be so scared if my barber was like, of course I have bandages. It's two actions. <laughs> Sorry. It is two actions. I need them all the time. <laughs> Constantly in need of bandages. You can attempt a medicine check on a creature that is taking persistent bleed damage, giving them a chance to make another flat check to remove the persistent bleed. The DC is usually the DC of the effect that caused the bleed. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, Balthazar is going to spend his first action to rush to the side of Rufus of Opara. Let me just make sure I have the movement. Seven, yes, okay. Because of my incredible movement, I can get just below Rufus of Opara. Even with your lowered perception, you see Karazor's penis. Is it furry? (sighs) Let's get answered. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) What? All right. Second action, battle medicine on Rufus of Opara. Okay. Yeah, you have the chance here of hurting him further and sending him to dying three, correct? Only if I critically fail. Though I do ask him, Rufus, would you like some risky surgery? Oh, I don't have time for that now. (laughs) All right, so this is a DC 15 medicine check. I don't have any bonuses here. I don't have any bonuses from the risky surgery. What's your medicine? Uh, Plus three, is that lowered? That is lowered by the juggernaut mutagen. Oh my god. Oh no. So there's a chance. So on a natural one real. or a natural two, you critically fail. Yeah, okay, and also okay. I could just fail. What are the chances? Of success? Slim. Of 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 critical failure. I think they're low. Ten percent. Ten percent. Imagine yeah, dying come on. and seeing a hyena coming over, whipping out his dick, and a robot with a knife. <laughs> I just want to say, that robot is like always all jacked it. up on something. This, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> this episode with a big hyena man pulling out his fuzzy penis is gonna really open up a new audience for us. <laughs> I think that's my hope. <laughs> Make sure uh, we hashtag it correctly. It yeah, while a, while a current <laughs> audience leaves from the other door. <laughs> exchange our current audience for a much smaller like, one. That's, let that's us that's know the... when Gay Walker starts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't critically fail, but I did roll a natural six, so that is a oh, nine. Oh, no. Um, here's the real question. Did I get... Did I get... 
Did I do battle medicine on myself before we went in here, to, or did I treat wounds on myself? I do not recall. Because if I did battle medicine on myself, I'm ineligible. <laughs> Dude, this is a bad situation. We I had mean, a little time, right? Didn't we have I some believe time? you did, and the reason I believe that is you guys were all messed up from the Four Seasons trip. Yes, yeah. And you had to keep taking rounds to get ready, so I, I'm going to... If, okay. if we're no one's sure, I'm, yeah. I'm almost positive. The four, I, seasons, I have, yeah. the four Seasons total landscaping trap almost killed us. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that was for Skid. Okay. I, I appreciate that. Thank no you. one appreciates yeah. it more. So, I went there. <laughs> there you I go. It's t-shirt. amazing. I visited. <laughs> yeah, he visited. <laughs> he toured the facility. <laughs> and the then the bridge collapsed like right behind it. <laughs> like a few weeks ago. <laughs> so we're in a pickle here because now I can't battle medicine myself. The only thing I can do is treat wounds while bleeding. That's going to take 10 minutes. Well, let's resolve what happened when you tried to s- save Rufus. Nothing, just nothing, nothing. happens? Nothing. I didn't like, critically fail. I just He failed. couldn't help him. I couldn't okay. help him. He couldn't stabilize Rush, him. Second action, try to help. Couldn't help him. And now I can't help myself or Rufus with this third action. And we have no potions. Guys, we have to save me. I don't have an idea for a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a matter of tr- life and creativity. <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm just flailing now. Can I attempt to staunch the bleeding with an action? Like, just like... It takes... Put out the fire. No, Put it out takes the fire. two actions. Two actions. <laughs> yeah, I don't have... So I don't have the actions. So, yeah, uh, Balthazar is venting, uh, venting magical fluid. And he uh, he tries to <laughs> tries to plug himself up, but can't with his final action. Wow! Oh, All right, goodness. so now you take a point of damage. You take one point of bleed, and then roll the flat check to stop the bleeding. Dude, this is like but change dice. This is I amazing. love this. <laughs> I love this about two E right now. It's All like right, so combat's DC... over, and people are still dying. Like, can we stop the dying? DC yeah. ten for the flat check. What is the what is DC the fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. Four. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that's uh, not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, you're mistaken. All right, so you take one, and you're going to keep bleeding. We go to the top of round five. If anyone can save this, it's a champ. It's champ Khan. Champ. The champ is here. I just want to say, I cannot, do, I cannot do battle medicine on Rufus again for the rest of the day. And he. I also can't treat wounds on him. That's I can't. Okay. just take until the next hour. That's all right. I'm going to crit succeed my next... Oh, I can't, really. I'm going to succeed my next uh, dying save or whatever, and then I'm going to get rid of the damage. It's going to be fine. Of course you can crit succeed. You'll, uh, you'll how... do it. Okay. Okay, okay champ is going to... is weird skeleton run is going to run over to uh, this horrible situation. Everybody all right? Is everyone okay? Uh, I'm dying. And this he looks and he see. sees oh. this like magical fluid. Oh my god! This is what you want to see when you're dying—a skeleton looming over you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're gonna be all right, man. Just grab my no. hand. <laughs> Let me help you out. Stop my time. Stop my time, please, please. <laughs> What a horrible way to go. <laughs> it's the worst way to go. <laughs> it's not just a skeleton. It's also a, uh, a, a fuzzy phallus hanging it's, over there's your There's a lot happening. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> they say you see uh, a lot of strange things in your phallus. Okay, moments. so he is going to run up, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I, I, I'm going to help you, Balthazar. I got you. I got you. And uh, he is going to pull some of the wraps that he uses to, like, disguise himself. They're just, like, loose in his backpack. And he just pulls some out and tries to stop your bleeding. So he's going to So he's going to administer first aid, uh, which is a medicine check. And it's going to be very hard for me to help you. So he's ah, fumbling at this. And he fails, so he does not help you. Uh, but he's helping, trying. Balthazar rather. appreciates it. Uh, and that's well. my turn, and we go back to Rufus. We go back to Rufus's rolls. So you're so, dying too. Dying too. So a uh, uh, DC 11 check to uh, stabilize here, or, or to improve, rather. Here we go, DC 11. I rolled a four. 
Okay. That, okay. Say, you want to roll high on this roll. All right. So th- yeah. Now th- yeah. So so this now is it. Get a little. This is it. So now, now go this to dying is three. dying three, and yes. then you take burn damage and go to dying four. Yes. But I have a hero point. That is correct. Correct. Okay. So. So. How much burn damage do I take just for shits? Uh, it was not a lot. Only five. Okay, five burn damage. I go to dying four, which would kill me, but you I use go. my hero point now to stabilize, right? Right. So this is because you're such a hero, but can you fight through these final <laughs> rounds? <laughs> now, now the, the important thing now is for me to get rid of this burn damage. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to roll this DC 15 check, and I'm going to roll higher than 15, and here we go. And I rolled a 12. Okay. okay so you're still on so fire. I'm still burning, but I'm at. <laughs> what am I? I'm not. I'm not at dying one though. I'm at like zero HP. You're like, zero. You are wounded. Stable. One. No, I'm sorry. He's not wounded yet. He He's not recovered. wounded. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. He is stable at zero. Okay. And okay. unconscious. Okay. But he's still and on, on fire. fire. Yeah. That uh, this is pretty funny to just be laying there on fire for a while. Yeah. I mean, you can't yeah. put it out. No, I can't. Nope. nope. It's because he crit on that attack. That's brutal. All from a goddamn produce flame cantrip, dude. Yeah. Okay. It would be Lelgeshen's turn, but the life goes out of Lelgeshen's eyes. And at that moment. What? Quakes start to oh, no. The vault. Oh, no. You have to be kidding me. You all feel the ground tremble, and then suddenly the wall to the in like the wall to the east, a strange crack appears in the wall that like makes everything on the wall look weird. And then the crack spiders out to all four sides, and the wall shatters in a spray of glass. And with a thunderous crack, the other two walls do the same thing. Boom! 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 And glass shards spray everywhere, revealing what looks like several tunnels beyond the walls. And one of these large shards of the wall wall lands right at your feet, Karazor, and you look down and you see yourself in the reflection in the shard and you realize at that moment all of the walls were mirrors and the impressive endless spread of treasure was all some illusion. Wow. Let's take a quick break and find out what happens next. We'll stay in initiative here. And it is Karazor's turn. Karazor, I'll let you tell me what you're going to do. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Karazor's plan becomes apparent as he pulls out the thing from his pants. And he's been, he's been drinking this mutagen, some potions. He had a ton of Pedialyte earlier. And he just starts peeing all over his friend <laughs> as he lies on the ground. <laughs> in order, in among other things, to extinguish the flames. <laughs> okay. So now, what action is this? <laughs> this is an aid. This is an aid. <laughs> it's a two-action aid to give him another check. It's an to, assisted recovery to assisted get recovery. rid of the burn damage. And this would be an automatic. He gets an automatic reroll right now. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you if that requires a skill roll with his Johnson. No, I or if it's pretty uh, clear that this is successful, and and you have two options. It can either lower the check to DC ten, or it can just put the flames out because it's water, and you could just say it's automatically he's out of it. Let's say he's on fire. That's a lot of pee. Uh, I'm gonna make it a DC. I'm gonna give you the check right now. I'm gonna lower it to DC thirteen because it is very unlucky. 
that you are being peed on while you die. <laughs> <laughs> and as he's doing it, he turns to the other two. He's like, follow my lead. Come on. And he sees it's like it's a robot and a skeleton. And he just shakes his head. That would give him <laughs> two guys that don't have bladders. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. DC 13 check. I'm just trying to. Well, wait. Do I take the damage? Wait. wait it's not no, my. No, this oh, is just oh, a free it, check. Oh, that a he's free gonna, check. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Here we go. This is to get rid of that, that uh, damage. Guess what, guys? I rolled a 15. Yes. Hey. hey. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. Oh, that's it. You're done. Yeah. That's awesome. Amazing. You're in saves the day again. Um, I, 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 I turn and I go, uh, and I open my mouth really wide. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, splash, like, splash, 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 splash. And then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I look up. Wait, am I conscious yet? No, I'm no. not conscious. Okay, I just go, uh, and it's all going into my mouth. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Turbot on his side. Keep it from drowning. <laughs> Turbot on his side. <laughs> uh, I would take you right out of. Uh, Just stop being on him. <laughs> Help him! Yeah. Come on! The fire, the fire is out. Stop pissing on Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> I would just take you out of initiative here, but uh, it's so Balthazar, hard to stop. But I'm starting. Come on, man. <laughs> Balthazar is still bleeding. Uh, so Balthazar, give, you want to do anything to try and help your check? I will attempt to the administer first aid to stop bleeding. So I will. Okay. Bar, I will use champs. I use champs wraps. Give me those, you dummy! Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is DC 15 med medicine check. Mm -hmm. Crack die. I bet. Crack die. Okay, 13. So that is a 16. 16, all right, so you yeah. take those, those bandages, you shove them inside the hole, and you stop the bleeding. Nope, and nope, 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 nope. You get another chance to save against the persistent. Right now, in this moment. Yeah. Okay, so take that, and Sigh. then you'll take it again. So you're gonna get two chances. All right, so I get it right now, right? Yeah, yep. and then you'll do it again because yep. it's the end of your turn. Fail. Um, okay, oh, so God. the so the magical fluid continues to leak out. Well, through. are you still going to take one point of damage? But now it's the end of your turn, and now you you take uh, you try it again. I will. Uh, yeah, I guess this will come out of initiative. Am I, do we sense? Is the quaking still going? Are we? Do we feel oh, in yeah. danger? Oh yeah, everything's shaking. The ground no, is shaking. We're not and, out of initiative. Yeah, you're, I'm still kind of keeping you initiative here because I want you to get over this bleeding. Then with my final action, can I just pick up Rufus of Apara? Pick him up? Yeah, yeah. sure. To get out, to get him out of here. Is Reach he down and grab him. Yes. Uh, so you have him in. You have his limp body in your arms, uh, and then you can roll your flat check again. Please succeed. Okay. Eighteen. All right, there it is, and we're good. Yeah, we did it. And you, I carry his urine-soaked body. <laughs> You Where have, you have him in your arms and like. Scorched urine. Is that so asparagus? Funny. It smells like asparagus. Rufus <laughs> <laughs> just talking in his sleep. Uh, and, and as you're holding him in your arms, you see dirt and debris from the ceiling like falling on his body, and it's raining around uh, all around you from the from the ceiling of Kim uh, King Wabiki's vaults. And then suddenly, a huge chunk of the ceiling above you just. Whoop a boom collapses down uh, to the south and blocks off the vault's entrance and the series of all seven doors that you traveled through to get in the vault. You look over. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, the, at the, after that crumbles down, all of the other shaking stops. You can hear shaking going on in the distance, but this room is no longer shaking. You look up, there doesn't seem to be any more chunks falling. You look over, and on the ground you see blood oozing from the corpse of Lelgeshen, his long, aardvark snout twisted into an agonized snarl. All of the walls shattered, mirrors, but in the center of the vault, the pedestal covered in greenery still stands upon which rests a wooden circlet uh, that I said, if you remember, sprouts flowers and leaves that flourish, wither, and die in an endless cycle. 
Just as quickly as they began, all those tremors end, and there is a long silence as you all try to gauge whether or not you need to run. And then a voice reaches out to all of you, telepathically. You hear like, Who... Who are you? You are not of Bopan, yet you stand before the perennial crown. And that presence, such rage, such bloodthirst, tell me it is not so. Tell me that Quixal has not discovered Bopan. Tell me they have not discovered the crown. Quicksalt, is that a name we recognize? No. Did we ever know the name of the, uh, the, was it the Thorned Monarch? We didn't know the name. I don't think we had a name for the Thorned Monarch. Um, I, uh, Balthazar thinks. Who are you? When I was alive, I was known as Odho of Bopan. My people settled in the Mwangi expanse long ago, but were ultimately slain by Quixal before myself and a few others stole their crown. I was lucky enough to survive, and I swore to protect the crown until my people were safe from Quixal's influence. Now here I rest inside of it eternally. And when that voice says that, you all realize that it's coming from the crown. Oh. Champ will walk up to the crown. Ah. You. Ah, a skeleton you are inside of it. <laughs> yes. He's like head turns sideways, quizzically like a dog's. And it's just this motionless wooden circlet. Yes. I am the guardian of the perennial crown. And he looks back at his friends. Uh, Rufus down on the ground. The robot near death. He says, Can you help us? We are very hurt. I... I am confused. Is this... Is this Quixal's doing? Did... We don't know Quixal. Is Quixal the thorned monarch? We knew Quixal by many names. The death that strides among the leaves, the borrower through the barrows, and yes, the thorned monarch. Whatever the name, they are a malevolent fay who was imprisoned upon Galarian long ago, an entity older than most civilizations, utterly consumed by spite. My people were able to learn little else before we were almost entirely destroyed. It's our understanding that your people defeated Quixal. There has been no word of him for hundreds of years. Yes, we defeated him in some ways, but not without paying the ultimate price. Is he here? And he looks into the, you said there's tunnels beyond, right? Where the mirrored walls collapsed. Is he here? Down there? With the vault open, its protections against Quixal are gone as well. If I am trapped here, It will only be a matter of time before Quixal finds me 
and uses the crown's power to bring ruin once again. You see, they seek to control everything they see, and they built a demiplane within which to magnify their control and magic. But when we stole this crown, which was the key to controlling the plane's power, they were left with but a shadow of their former abilities. Even so weakened, they were able to lay waste in retribution to those of my people who could not flee to this island fast enough, though I suspect revenge was merely a whim compared to their ongoing schemes to get the crown back. By entering this vault, you have awakened them. It is not safe to remain here. Please, take me with you. He knows you are here, and he will stop at nothing to take me back. You seem very nice, but why don't we just destroy the crown? No, you mustn't do that. Wait. Wait. Do I smell asparagus? <laughs> like I said, it's bad back there. We it need seems, help. It seems like he's it seems like he's trying to distract us from the question. Maybe we should destroy the crown. No. No, destroying the crown would be most grievous. Why? Because you would die? No, I'd be uh, Actually, I never thought about it, but yes, I imagine I would perish. Um, but his power is only greater with the crown in hand. Destroying the crown will not destroy him. In fact, it is possible it could be used to ultimately destroy him. Were you to destroy the crown, he could still wreak havoc now that he is loose. The crown is our most powerful asset. What does it do? It, 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 he uses it for power and shit. <laughs> it makes him very powerful if he wears it. So just don't hey, destroy it. We gotta guys, get out of here. It's me. Even though I'm unconscious, telepathically, I can make myself known in my dream state. Is anybody getting all of this exposition? Because I'm having trouble kind of keeping track of some of it. I'm like, Karazor is just like uh, stroking his damp hair. It's like, it's all right. Everything will be fine. Rest now, dear friend. There's a funny, <laughs> there's a funny taste in my mouth. No, shh. It's all a dream. Don't worry. Shh. Maybe, maybe we should destroy the crown. Have no, we, no. Has anybody asked about that? Hey, do anyone ask about destroying the crown? Yeah, Please. we asked. Rufus she was said asking. No. Please I don't was just thinking that. I Maybe we should destroy the crown. Do there, we... may, there may be a better reason, but I don't want to look it up right now. All right. You just assume right, that you won't destroy the crown. <laughs> listen to me. It's a bad idea. <laughs> My Bob friends, is listen holding to the me. Crown his hands about to snap it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My back. <laughs> My... <laughs> My friends, listen to me. Quicksor is the thorned monarch. Right. Yes, yes, Rufus, we know. Yes, we, we got know. that. Okay, you got that. All right. <laughs> cool, Rest cool, cool, cool. easy, my here's a friend. All right, I'm going to go back to the dream world. Go back to sleep. Okay, so my this vault is full of wonders. And rain showers. <laughs> Carzor, cramp. Yes. I just called champ cramp. Carzor, cramp. cramp. The crepe is here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Almost certainly. I was thinking that one of us should wear the crown. Yes, me. I'll wear it. Give it to me. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering for this. Very uh, treacherous. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> so, so like, is like, he's holding the crown and Rufus. I forgot that. So he's, he's holding the crown and Rufus and he hands it to, he like tosses it over to Karazor to crown him. Yeah, I was like, I try to catch it on my head. Careful, careful now. Oh. I'm very fragile. <laughs> ah. I'm going to make a, 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 a acrobatics check. Natural three. It falls to the ground. 
the ja- oh, was like, oh, oh <laughs> God. You don't realize three feet to you may not seem much. It is hundreds of feet to me, my back. Please, the ground is wet. <laughs> Please. I pick up the crown and I put it over my head. Easy, my head. easy now. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Why, do you, do you get feel anything, Clarissa? Yeah. Do you feel any power? I feel incredible. I feel relieved. In a <laughs> way I can't quite describe. Oh, wait. Uh, now yes. I know. I know we I'm would like to leave. How we do we would leave? like to leave. Tell us how to leave, oh God of Thorns. Um, uh, the vault. There are tunnels beyond. Uh, the, the mirrors. I heard them shatter. You can no doubt see uh, the many tunnels that have opened up. I sense Quixel's presence. Uh, the ground that has shook has perhaps formed new tunnels as well. We must navigate the way. I'm sure that we will find a way to the surface. My name is Oddho. Don't forget. You may Ard- call me Audrey. Oddho. Oddho. I heard Oddho. Not is it Otto? Otto? No, Otto? Odd. Oddho. Odd, like Otto, but with a D. No, it's A U D H O. Oh, like eight. that. Oh. That's one. Like that's one odd ho. That's yes. <laughs> My friends would always say that, and I never got the joke. <laughs> Oddho of Bopan. Oddho of Bopan. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah, yes. let's go. We're All still right. very badly hurt, though. Is there? Is oh, does any sh- one of these passages lead to a fully staffed hospital by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You should take uh, all the time you need, uh, very quickly, to heal. All right. We, we would need hours. We would need a day. Uh, I don't know if you have that time. Um, okay. Then we just don't know. We'll have to settle in and do this until something stops us. Oh, That's no. right. That's our only choice. All it's right. our only choice, Otto. All right. Um, find a find find a, a hole or something and, and rest as long as you here. want. Right here looks good. Sure. Why not? All right. All right. It's a little grass here. here. We like should this. rest. And we should rest in the three wet spot. hours passes. <laughs> yes. It's like Let's, a little gentle brook. Let us recline right here, just next to the grass. In the small pond that Karazor has provided for us, <laughs> right under the spot where the ceiling collapsed. Because as you know, a ceiling can never collapse in the same place twice. That's I, true. It's like there's, lightning. There's one thing I've noticed in 2E, and this has come up a lot. Whenever there is a pressing situation, <laughs> as written, and they're always pressing, like the heroes must move on, uh, without a healer and without access to potions, we just have to pretend that it's not... Uh, a hurry. There's, there's no other way to do it. There's literally call in. There's no other way, and that seems like a real flaw. I mean, yeah. I don't want. By the way, I don't that's with it's, a healer. Yeah, <laughs> even with the healer. And I don't want to like, say it's our fault a little bit, but I also feel that, like, as players, when you have someone who's trained in medicine, you're like, eh, what do we need potions that's for? That's the thing. They're sort. Of, yeah, they're like a substitute for that. But then yeah, you run into medicine. a situation like this where it's like there is supposed to be a ticking clock. And it's you run it. There's a little disconnect there. I don't see it as a flaw of the system. I see it as a flaw. You will of never talk out against the quirk. system. I think it's a quirk of the system. <laughs> no, <laughs> because it's not, it's not if system, you are Joe this Brian. hurt, if you are this hurt, it takes time to. You can't just be like, boop, and I'm good again. Like that but would be everything. Lame. Every that's single that, one of these situations, it's always like it. it's expected for you to just move on. Can I just say, if you were in a real building that collapsed due to an earthquake, you wouldn't be like. Let's sleep here. <laughs> Let's rest here tonight <laughs> until we feel better. <laughs> well, no, he said it. The rumbling stopped. It's all calm. It's all you peaceful. You still wouldn't stay in the collapsed <laughs> building, Joe. It makes no sense. Do you want to pick a recently opened tunnel <laughs> to sleep in? Mean, these we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the do we go, go down the tunnel? The go tunnel. down the tunnel a little bit. You're gonna find a nice little oasis pretty soon. Uh, it's a nice little oasis here. I made one for you. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I'm I'm unconscious, so I'm just I'm just a little bit on the GM side, where players are always like, we fall back and sleep for eight hours in this horrifying landscape. 
<laughs> I think it's an oversimplification. It is. And by the way, GMs out there, why don't you do your business and interrupt the healing? Just do it if you don't want them to do it. Like, <laughs> just interrupt, interrupt the healing. If there was a home game, that'd be fine. Like, oh, some uh, fucking skeletons come. <laughs> like, oh, I want to end this before December. And Jeff's just like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. And it turns out they're all friends. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have fun with that. Damn it. Also, Joey, if Troy, were to, <laughs> if Troy were to interrupt the healing, you would be so furious. Not because your character would be in danger, but because we interrupted the process. <laughs> no, I would not I researched this for days. I would not be at all. I think that is much more realistic. But I'm just saying, these are the limits that we have. So, How, many, it, how long do you actually take and how much do you heal and how fast can we do this? Can it's going to take a day. It's going to take a is day, Is it okay probably. if we stay for like four or five days? Yeah, <laughs> might as well. And I'm sure you guys brought plenty of rations as well. Well, I oh, want to yeah. get I want to get all the way up to full HP. So let's see. I have 50 HP and I regain six per day automatically with just resting. So yeah, I need to stay a week. Well, I could I can treat wounds on you every hour. Oh, but, but I have to wait until well, this in that hour case, why up. don't we just say we're all full of HP and some hours have passed and move on? I think that's how this game is unfortunately designed. So X amount of hours pass and you're fully healed. Jared, yes. you, are the, you are the only player <laughs> on the network. They could get Troy to agree to that. The only <laughs> no one. kidding. Well, I've, well, got, no way. Look, I've got a release calendar. <laughs> <laughs> don't hey, don't don't let me throw off the way you guys like to do it, making hour by hour healing rolls. <laughs> I mean, don't don't get me wrong. That sounds like a a ton of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh god fun to play fun to listen to just great, great all fun to see live when you pay a yeah, lot of 20, money 25 minutes live. later we could be like oh, i still have three hp left can matthew roll again in an hour um or we could just say he does it and continue with the adventure i mean however you guys want to do it i'm with you i'm, I'm with you all right you're all full hp but with no hero points that's okay. the penalty. Oh, oh, and if okay. you had hero points, they're gone. No, I have one. I am not losing my hero point. I don't have any taking it away you. for hand waving your healing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so there is. So Jared, he didn't quite agree to your terms. Oh no, he didn't. Hey, are you guys done? It's. T <laughs> I'm so tired. Let's. We should go. By the way, canonically, like nine hours have passed. Exactly. It takes several yeah. hours. We have to regroup. Have to care for Rufus, and am consider. I, I, I'm conscious again, right? Yeah, yes, and then yeah. consider where we're going. Uh, I mean, didn't you, you say multiple tunnels? There are. Yeah, you've got to start. Those are just one way out this, right now. No, there's there's several tunnels. So you're going to have to start uh, navigating it. Spoiler alert: It's going to be very narrative. I I had the weirdest dream that the crown started talking and told us that Quicksore, the thor thorned monarch, was seeking to take the crown for himself and that we had to travel down within these tunnels to defeat Quicksore. That's exactly what happened. That's, that's oh. what that was what happened. <laughs> you were just hearing the crown talk. Holy shit, am crown. I dreaming the future? No, Did you, you see... just heard it as it happened. Oh. Did you see me crown Karazor, new king? I am uh, I'm the king of the vault. Look at me. <laughs> oh, you're wearing the crown. During yes. your dream, were you bathing in a yellow water fountain? No, what do you mean? <laughs> All right, your dream is very inconsistent. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, wait. Now we must go. Yeah. Do you hear the it's bells? It's Quicksore! It's Quicksore! <laughs> Quicksore rises! Um... You search Love Jackson's body, you find leather armor and a bloodletting kukri. Oh, Ooh. it was a magic weapon. Yes. Oh, oh. bloodletting eh? kukri you thought I was cheating with. That's a cool weapon. I Does often, anyone? I, I there was a a period of about two thousand years where I was a specialist in bloodletting. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, Champ would love that. That would be awesome. His, Is anyone his, else? Yeah, his primary weapon is a. Uh, Agile one hand. Hold on, weapon. skeleton. You don't just get to take what you find, okay? We're all members of this band. And as the lead, <laughs> I say the kukri goes to me. <laughs> Wait, but why? You you don't know how to use a kukri. Who cares? I'll learn! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How am I supposed to learn anything if you won't let me have the tools I need? Oh my god, this is so, so funny when you really think about it. <laughs> Thinks it's a band and like, uh, you don't know how to play like, guitar. God, is how can touched. I ever learn if you don't let me try? <laughs> <laughs> Dalmazar is especially touched that Rufus, who he thought was like solo artist till the day he died, considers us a band. Things have changed. Flattering. Things have changed in Rufus's estimation. But at that moment, Rufus looks up and goes, Oh my God, you guys, the ceiling, it cracked open. We can just use rope to get out of the top. <laughs> All right. Right. So right. let's destroy the crown and take a rope out of the top of the ceiling, Please, no. and we can be on our way. Can't you see? The it, ship should be here by now. There's, there's no ship. <laughs> no, no, there is. We came on one. Let's just go. Oh, then yes, we, we must get me far, far away from here. You say you come on a ship? Perfect. Yes, that will distract Quicksal. All right, let's go. Uh, I want to read this ability that Lajeshin had, and I kept waiting. He had nimble dodge, which I'm I taking could a bloodletting kukri. Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it on my character sheet. Rufus oh. is furious and um, pouting about it. <laughs> His nimble dodge was pretty basic reaction allowed him a plus two bonus to his AC to like block an attack. I didn't want to use that because I was saving up for mirror reversal. I can only use this reaction once per day and the trigger was if one of you crit against me. Oh. And the effect is Lalgeshen teleports to one of the mirrored walls emerging adjacent from it. Meanwhile, a duplicate of him briefly remains, seemingly frozen in place for a second, before detonating as the critical hit connects with it, and each creature adjacent to his original location takes 46 slashing damage from Whoa. the explosion. Oh, oh my that god. That would have been amazing! I oh, kept man. waiting. Wow, and he killed so me without to doing that. Too. Yeah. yeah, and it becomes difficult terrain all around him as well. So it just like explodes out, damage, difficult terrain, and a very high reflex save. But anyways, we would have been start. completely fucked if that had happened. Oh yeah, especially if it happened that. early. Because remember, Champ was getting beat up, and then Karazor was in rough shape, and then for Rufus to get so it could have could have turned. But you guys, yeah. I honestly my my uh, biggest mistake I made was taking the AOO from Karazor. If I had kept that mirror duplicate of Legislation around a little longer. I think it would have been a, a tougher battle. But anyways, mm. you look up thinking the baby uh, Rufus has an idea and you see that like while a chunk of the ceiling has dropped, there doesn't seem to be any uh, way to get up beyond that. It is just like ground and stone and dirt. Um, but you look ahead and you just see tunnels everywhere with no idea where to go, how to get out, if you can get out. And how close Quicksal may be to regaining their crown. Well, eight hours closer. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Uh, I'm glad we got all that healing done this week. Yes. It's good to get that out of the way. And next week we can start on the adventure. Just <laughs> jump right in. Jump right in. <laughs> get in, everybody. Get out, America. <laughs>